Furnace waves past the defender. He shoots. <laughs> goal! Oh, uh, goal! Oh, Ollie and Son, pass! Pass to me! That's it! Goal. <laughs> we have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, where did they go? Aha. And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! <laughs> Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> do What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine, just to be safe. Put, 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 Wait! Come back! Nasher! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasher back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasher? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasher. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to Boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The Boot. Get it? Nah. The Boot Slipper. But I've already got Boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to Boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare thee? Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Boot's in charge of Beano Town. Yeah, 
If only old Slipper could show him up, catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pieface, you're trying to get Sergeant Slipper to catch you. Gotcha. Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. Oh, my tail's fallen off. Right, you. You're... <laughs> oh. Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh! Ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh? Naughty boy. Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in, you ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. Hey, hey, hey what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um... Sergeant? Nah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mayor, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! <laughs> oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? A mess. But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4, go! Ow! Oh! Ooh. A rogue biker in the high street. All units to the high street, over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> Arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this fool left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. Uh, what happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learnt any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs>
ready for the ultimate water slide of doom, Nasha? Nash, Nash! Please take your jumper off, Dennis. It's so hot today. Over. Chap at work lent me this research prototype he's testing out. Rejuvenating regeneration for the follically challenged. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <gasps> Wowza! <laughs> Time for some hair-raising action, eh, Nasha? Nasha! <laughs> Remember, class, no feeding the animals. Is that clear, Pieface? Absolutely, miss. These babies are all mine. <laughs> What's in the bag, Dennis? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, apes are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. 95% of their DNA is identical to ours. Oh, <gasps> oh, <gasps> banana. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the Beano Town hairy mammoth. Mammoth? They're extinct. Duh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bet you'll lunch that there's a mammoth here. <laughs> You're on. Me too. I'm Moo. Ah! Ah! I don't suppose yours has got a pie in. <laughs> Oi, what's happened to Elvis? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, school now. Huh? Ah, Nasha, come back. Let the medicine begin. Nasha, Nasha. <gasps> Nasha, what happened? Well, funny you should ask. He went in next door's pool and came back looking like this. Ah. I don't suppose you'd know how that might have happened, Dennis. Ah. Sorry, Mum. No good apologising to me. Apologise to your dad. He went in after Nasha. Well, I think you look cool, Dad. <laughs> Good afternoon. We've had reports of a gorilla on your premises. A gorilla, Sergeant? Oh, there's no gorilla here. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Come on, you. Back to the zoo. But, but Sergeant, he's not dangerous. Ah, looks dangerous to me. There's only one place for a creature like that. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Get in! We've got to follow that van! Yes. <laughs> Stop! He's not a gorilla! He's my dad! Don't be daft! Whoa. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you out. Am I glad to see you? It's me, Pieface's dad. Walter's dad invited me for a dip in their pool, you know, because it was so hot. And Luke! Still, three bananas, though. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, this is bad. No, this is super bad. Gotta get Dad out. Better get mine out too. Huh? Mum got a call from Dad inside the gorilla enclosure. He's loving the free bananas, though. OK, we need to find an antidote fast. Nasha, you'll have to be our guinea pig. I, I mean, dog. <laughs> nash, 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 nash. OK, let's see if this works. <laughs> That's brilliant! Seriously, though, we'd better find the antidote. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash. Nasha, we'll think of something. Yes. Whew. Okay, well, let's see if test number 273 will do the job. Yes! yes. yes, yes, yes. Curly, you're a genius! Get that boy a striped jumper! What's the magic formula? Ahem. One part liquid, add three parts dissolving agent, add to the hair restorer, shake repeatedly for ten minutes, then dilute with 100% purification solution. What? what? Water! Pure tap water! The chlorine in the pool mixed with the hair restorer caused a chemical reaction. This created a new super formula that sped up the hairiness. <sighs> I diluted the pool water with simple tap water and ta-da! The super formula was neutralized and we get zero hairiness. OK. I didn't understand any of that, but it sounded great. Come on, let's go give our dads a really good soaking. Oh, <laughs> Zoo's closed! Too many new gorillas! We're sending the extra ones away! What? <sighs> Right, Operation Super Nash. Nash, 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 That's better. Bit of fresh air. It's very hot being airy, you know. Dennis, look! Is that your dad? Quick, Nasha! Yes. Dad, we're here to rescue you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, it could just be an actual gorilla. <laughs> Oi! Over here! Did it! <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Help! Oh, 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 oh. Better give him a hand. Get ready, everyone! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I don't know how I would have gotten back into their enclosure if it wasn't for Nash, eh? Nash, Nash! You've all got free zoo passes for life. <laughs> Anyone see my dad? Uh, was I supposed to get out? Everything's back to normal. The gorillas are back in their cages. Pie faces. Dad's making banoffee pies, and Dad's got his bald patch back. <laughs> um, Dennis, isn't there a ban on using water because of the heat wave? Yeah, but I'm using special water. Yes! 
family fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Hey! Oi! Oh! Now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nashir old chum, how do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nashir. <laughs> yeah, doggy, doggy. <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue and a Pomeranian Puff Crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. What? Buzz off! No! Time for action. Crumbs away! Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Hello, what's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in twenty minutes. Uh, okay. This gives me a brain stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny Dennis is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy. Step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. A nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today, or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> Hooligans! 
Typical Dennis. Still causing trouble. Oh. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. It's okay, Walter. I've got you. Dennis, let go. Whoa! This isn't what I planned. Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to you. if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? No thanks to you, Dennis. My nerves are in shreds. Oh, maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chop chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles. <laughs> no! Leave me alone! Clear off! Leave him alone! Go away! And while one of them was messing about in a boat, the other one knocked me head first into the lake! Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you, oh, you little hooligans! Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are! Look! Look! Oh, oh, horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Whoa! Ha ha! What have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well then, that's a, that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and, and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go, come on. No! Oh! <laughs> Bullseye! Yeah. And that's for me loopings. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I... I... I, uh... I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. <laughs> Captain Yoke of the 
the Starship Enterprise. I have lost several crew members to a terrifying life form known as the Spoon. <gasps> What's that? It's one of them! I come in peace. No! <laughs> times have I told you, Dennis? Don't play with your food. You don't mind when Gran does it. I said, shut! Yes, well, she's only staying here until her foot gets better. That's right. Meanwhile, you don't mind looking after Harley, right, Dennis? Who's Harley? My hog. The pig. Sounds like fun to me. Can't wait to meet him, Gran. You will, when you go and feed him. Hey. Check out my glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy mistaking a hog for a hog. A what? A pig for a motorbike. Well, that's the problem with the internet. You never quite know what you're going to get. True, but if she decided to keep the pig, why didn't she buy a home for it? You know, a sty. She did try to build a sty. And dropped a brick on her foot. Meanwhile, the pig's running around all over the place. Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. You found Miss Bears. I wondered where they were. Ta! Right, I'm off to feed Harley. There's some leftover cabbage in the kitchen. <laughs> what a pong! Make sure he's got clean water. Will do, Gran. Come on, boy. All right. Stay and keep Nipper company. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, boys. Let's see if anyone's noticed that I put salt in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Harley. Here's your swill. <laughs> oh, <I'm steady> <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. See you later, then. Bye. Oh, no! The bucket! Uh, me again, fella. Just uh, come back to get me... <laughs> that little Dennis looks at it on the floor, all up the walls and all over his face and says... Me never wanted stupid birthday cake anyway. <laughs> really? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's another one. <laughs> oh, yes. Dennis was a real handful when he was a baby. Oh, hello, love. How's Harley? Oh, a bit lively, as you can see. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice in here. Oh, yeah. Gran made a pie. <coughs> Delicious. So, are you guys ready for band practice? Bring it on! Uh, isn't that my jacket? Yes, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, time for a break, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a break. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. It's probably past Harley's feeding time. Eh? Oh. OK, Gran. Come on, lads. You can give me a hand with the pig. You go, Dennis. Your friends can catch up with you. Oh. All right. Uh, see you in a bit. I haven't played one of these since... Well, I've never played one of these. But it's never too late to learn. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Oh, here's some fertiliser for your rhubarb. What? Oh, thanks, Den. Wait a minute. I thought you were... Who's playing my guitar? <laughs> wow! I see your foot's better. Uh, oh, uh, well, actually, it doesn't hurt when I do this, but if... Oh, <gasps> if I just walk like this... Oh, the pain. Right. I thought 
you two were too tired to keep on rocking. Oh, we are now. Your gran has even more energy than you do, Jen. Hmm. Come on, boy. Let's go and read some comics. And there might be a doggy treat in it for you, too. <laughs> gran, what are you doing? Oi! That was the last sausage. Oh, never mind. It's pretty much done. <laughs> <laughs> Gran, you shouldn't make a fire in here. You could have burnt down me treehouse. Well, I don't know about that. It took me ages to get it going in the first place. I had to use all that paper there. My comics! You said fire to... My comics! You don't need comics. I'll tell you a funny bedtime story. It's not my... Bedtime! Is it not? Ah, oh, well. We'll have a laugh in the morning, eh? Oh. 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 Here, boy! Night! What? You can't stay here! This isn't a granny flat! It's my treehouse! My treehouse! Well, at least that's over with for this morning. Dennis! The Gran says don't forget to give Harley his chewable vitamin. Oh, oh, oh. Pesky pig. Smelly swine. Hot-bellied pest. Go! Hi, lads. What's going on? Just tidying up. Your gran asked me to. <laughs> what are you doing, Pie Face? Running up some curtains for the treehouse. Your gran showed me how. Right, that's it. I've had enough. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. Away. Oh, I thought you were hanging out with Gran. I was. I love you, Gran. She's so funny, but she had me drumming for hours yesterday. I'm worn out. All this fun is starting to feel like hard work. Yeah, I know. And her foot is totally better. I think she's well enough to go home and look after Harley. But since she started hanging out with us in the treehouse, she doesn't want to leave. That's right, and I can't keep up with her and... She ate my pie! Not ya! Yes! The pie I saved for emergencies! <gasps> right! Heads together, lads! I've got a plan! I don't know why you've brought me back home. I was really happy in the treehouse. <laughs> this way, folks! <laughs> oh, wow! Built a sky for Harley! Brilliant! But careful! Mind your foot! Oh, oh! Um, actually, I think it might be getting better. Thanks, Dennis. That's okay, Gran. Do you think you're going to be able to cope all right? Harley's a bit of a handful. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to handle him. Now he's got his own place to live in. So, where is this pig, anyway? I had to ask. Seriously? Get off me, you stupid pig! Hey, wait a minute. I recognise that sty. Didn't it used to be my shed? Used to be, Dad. Used to be. Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we've got the treehouse to ourselves again. Wow! What's the...
Sounds like my tricks really livened up the family day at your dad's work. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. It's my boss, Mr Scrimp. He wants both of us to report to his office right away. Oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have taken you to the family day. Coming. <laughs> ah, what's his name? Yeah, I want a word with this son of yours. So, young what's-his-name, was it you who put soap flakes in the cistern of the executive toilet? Me? I'm sure it was some sort of mis- Quiet, what's-his-name. I'm talking to the boy. Hmm. And are you the same little rascal who put wind-up piranha fish in the water cooler? Stick out your tongue, Miss Jones. <laughs> well, that was just... Fair enough. It was me. Had to liven things up a bit. This place is so boring! No. <laughs> Excellent. That's quite a boy you've got there. What's his name? Eh? The thing is, we're creating a new range for the young consumer and we need young what's-his-name's expertise. How do you fancy creating your very own range of the ultimate practical jokes, eh? We'd call them the Menace Collection. Wow! You want me to design jokes? Exactly. You see, we've been having some problems with our prototypes. Cast your expert eye over them, young man. We tried to upgrade the squirty flower by inventing the squirty bouquet. <laughs> Certainly wet enough, but difficult to direct. Hmm. I see the problem. Let's see how good a golfer you are. What's his name? <laughs> As you see, our exploding golf balls don't always work. <laughs> I see. I'm sure I can improve that lot. Excellent. You have full access to my design team. A good man. Thanks for bringing young What's-His-Name to my attention. Oh, by the way, can you get hold of a pair of tartan trousers and a diamond-checked sweater? Yes, I think so. Good. Then you must join me at the golf club on Sunday. Me? At the golf club? Wow, I, I, I mean... Uh, of course, Mr. Scrimp. Get ready for joke number one, Mr. Scrimp, which Walter's kindly volunteered to test. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Time to give each plant its daily drink. Oh, I see. A new bush. Hmm. Father must have planted it. Wow! <laughs> it's watering me! <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find the squirty bush out wets the squirty bouquet. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bravo. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello. A, a spherical object approaching me from a, from a westerly direction. Oh, I can't resist it. <laughs> Exploding golf balls. Ha! I take things to the max. <laughs> I love the added helping of green guns. <laughs> A master stroke. Well, what do you think of my outfit? Well, I do. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, you should have seen that lad of yours. What's his name? He's really coming up with the goods. All we need now is one top of the range joke and we're ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to open our first Menace Collection joke shop right here in Beano Town. I'll rent this place to some chap called Ho Ho or He He or something. You mean Mr. Ha Ha? That's the fellow. Anyway, we're going to close him down, then reopen as our very own joke shop. But Mr. Ha Ha's been there for years. Exactly. Time he got another job. But... So put your thinking cap on. I want to see something really special. <laughs> and I'll see you at the golf club on Sunday, what's his name? Mike me, Nasha. I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> ah! 
So, you found out that Mr Scrimp wants to close you down. How, how did you know that? Cos I'm the one who's inventing the jokes for the new store. Oh, no. Oh, yes. If I come up with a knockout practical joke, you'll lose your shop. If I don't, I won't get me dream job. And poor Dad won't get to the golf club. But, but, practical jokes are my life. Imagine never smelling another steep bomb, never feeling the tingle of a hand buzzer, never scaring Walter with a jumping spider. There must be a way out. Hang on. Nasha, get Curly and Pie Face for a treehouse meeting. Top priority. Yes. So that's the problem. To put Scrimp off pranks for life, we need to come up with the mother of all practical jokes. It's got to be the biggest, best practical joke ever. What about a mega loud whoopee cushion? Or a super stinky stink bomb? Or a turbo powered space hopper? But wait, imagine if you will, not just a whoopee cushion, not just a stink bomb, not just a space hopper, but all these things rolled into one bouncy castle. The three in one. This is the ultimate, Mr Scrimp, the greatest of all practical jokes. Mm. Looks just like an ordinary bouncy castle to me. But it's so much more. Really? Presenting the three in one. One, two, three. Three awesome gags in one. I see. Well, it sounds good, but I have to see it in action. All I can say is it would take a brave man to try it out. A brave man, eh? Hmm. How about you, what's his name? Oh, no, uh, Mr Scrimper. I really think you should have the honour. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, here goes. a leaf out of place, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what the...? Wasn't us! <laughs> oh, oh, I can't swim! Help me! You know what to do, Nasha! Nobody told me practical jokes could be this dangerous. Oh, the project's off. Finished. Finito. But it, no buts, what's his name? Oh, jokes like this would ruin the company. Oh, so does that mean my invitation to golf's withdrawn? Eh? Not at all. Well, it turns out Scrimp's not going to close me down, thanks to the three-in-one. And you've given me a great idea for a mini version. The Menace Ball. <laughs> Watch, listen and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty more ideas where that came from, Mr Ha Ha. What a brilliant day. Wonder how Dad's enjoying his game of golf. Keep up, what's his name? Come on, man! <laughs> yes, Mr. Scrimp. Of course, Mr. Scrimp. Ready for the ultimate. 
ultimate water slide of doom, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Oh, At least take your jumper off, Dennis. It's so hot today. Over. Chap at work lent me this research prototype he's testing out. Rejuvenating regeneration for the follically challenged. Hmm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <gasps> Wowza! <laughs> Time for some hair-raising action, eh, Nasha? Nasha! <laughs> Remember, class, no feeding the animals. Is that clear, Pieface? Absolutely, miss. These babies are all mine. <laughs> What's in the bag, Dennis? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> uh. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, apes are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. 95% of their DNA is identical to ours. Oh, <gasps> oh, <gasps> banana. banana. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the Beano Town hairy mammoth. Mammoth? They're extinct. Duh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bet you'll lunch that there's a mammoth here. <laughs> You're on. Me too. I'm me. No. <laughs> I don't suppose yours has got a pie in. <laughs> Oi! What's happened to Elvis? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, school. Now. Huh? Nasha, come back. Let the medicine begin. Nasha? Nasha? <gasps> Nasha, what happened? Well, funny you should ask. He went in next door's pool and came back looking like this. Ah. I don't suppose you'd know how that might have happened, Dennis. Ah. Sorry, Mum. No good apologising to me. Apologise to your dad. He went in after Nasha. Well, I think you look cool, Dad. <laughs> Good afternoon, morning. We've had reports of a gorilla on your premises. A gorilla, Sergeant? Oh, there's no gorilla here. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Come on, you. Back to the zoo. But, but Sergeant, he's not dangerous. Ah, looks dangerous to me. There's only one place for a creature like that. <laughs> yeah. Done. Get in! We've got to follow that van! Yes. <laughs> Stop! He's not a gorilla! He's my dad! Don't be daft! Whoa. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you out. Am I glad to see you? It's me, Pieface's dad. Walter's dad invited me for a dip in their pool, you know, because it was so hot. And Luke! Still, three bananas, though. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, this is bad. No, this is super bad. Gotta get Dad out. Better get mine out too. Yeah. Mum got a call from Dad inside the gorilla enclosure. He's loving the free bananas, though. OK, we need to find an antidote fast. Nasha, you'll have to be our guinea pig. I, I mean, dog. Mm. Nash, 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 nash. <laughs> OK, let's see if this works. Seriously, though, we'd better find the antidote. Don't worry, Nasha. We'll think of something. Nash. <sighs> okay. Let's see if test number 273 will do the job. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! you're a genius! Get that boy a striped jumper! What's the magic formula? <laughs> Ahem. One part liquid, add three parts dissolving agent, add to the hair restorer, shake repeatedly for ten minutes, then dilute with 100% purification solution. What? Water! Pure tap water! The chlorine in the pool mixed with the hair restorer caused a chemical reaction. This created a new super formula that sped up the hairiness. <sighs> I diluted the pool water with simple tap water and ta-da! The super formula was neutralized and we get zero hairiness. Okay! I didn't understand any of that, but it sounded great. Come on, let's go give our dads a really good soaking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Zoo's closed! Too many new gorillas! We're sending the extra ones away! What? <sighs> hmm. Right, Operation Super Nash! Nash, Nash! Now what? Over there! <laughs> Dad! Phew, that's better. Bit of fresh air. It's very hot being airy, you know. <laughs> Dennis, look! Is that your dad? Quick, Nasha! <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. We're here to rescue you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, it could just be an actual gorilla. <laughs> 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 Over here! Did it! <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Help! <laughs> oh, better give him a hand. <laughs> Get ready, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I would have gotten back into their enclosure if it wasn't for Nasha. Eh? Nash, Nash! You've all got free zoo passes for life! <laughs> Anyone see my dad? Uh, was I supposed to get out? Everything's back to normal. The gorillas are back in their cages, Pie Face's dad's making banoffee pies, and dad's got his bald patch back. <laughs> Um, Dennis, isn't there a ban on using water because of the heat wave? Yeah, but I'm using special water. 